Researchers have been trying to identify the mechanisms between inherited memories. Yes, it is possible to remember something from before you were born. That is not just conjecture. We may have actually found mechanisms. It's been noticed that if a grandparent went through a traumatic event or something like malnutrition, the grandchildren can be impacted. They can have a greater number of anxiety disorders. They can be more prone to obesity. That is more than just how they were raised. Research has found that if you exposed mice to something like an electric shock in the presence of lavender, their offspring will continue to be afraid of lavender for multiple generations. In this study, they actually found the mechanisms. PIRNA, that's a kind of RNA that's involved with epigenetics, so it controls the way that genes are expressed. This means that your body is recording the events that happen to it and then passing changes down to your offspring so they know that they should still be afraid of a certain stimuli, i.e. the smell of lavender. And of course, the very same mechanisms have been found in other organisms that are not mammals, which means this is pretty well conserved and is probably quite ancestral. If you were to block the activity of these RNAs, then they wouldn't continue to have the fear. That may actually be an interesting treatment for anxiety disorders if your anxiety is truly inherited from your grandparents. In this experiment, researchers had mice that were given poor maternal care. That poor maternal care caused issues with their grandchildren. Their grandchildren were not able to make social connections. They essentially had social anxiety. We are talking about rodents, mind you. Your grandmother having a poor upbringing can indeed affect how you behave. Your social anxiety may be your grandma's fault. Or grandpa. Although a mechanism has been identified, there's other ideas for why a grandparent's trauma can impact you. For example, if a mother is a smoker, that could impact your genes, how they're expressed, and may make you more likely to start smoking in your life, which can impact your children. This one is more direct, and it's when something somebody has gone through impacts the way they raise their children, and that echoes throughout history. That idea does make a lot of sense, and it's much easier to comprehend than it's some mechanism in our genetics that hasn't been identified yet. And this is the problem with a lot of epigenetic research. We understand our genes. That part's easy. Granted, it wasn't always easy. It took us till what, the 2000s to sequence the entire human genome? And now we have to deal with the epigenome. These things that control how your genes are expressed, where, why, and when. And it involves imaging to see how DNA physically changes. And there's all these little RNAs that are involved that help change the way your DNA conforms. A lot of the first mechanisms were just what is available. Sometimes your DNA allows certain parts of it to be transcribed into a protein, and sometimes it doesn't. That is a really complicated code to figure out how it's working. If I can leave you with anything, it would just be to keep an open mind, yes, but we do have to live in reality. Though if we have evidence for something, be perfectly okay with saying we probably don't have the whole story. We don't have to assign meaning to something just because we don't know it. Also, don't believe things with no evidence for them. That one also needs to be true. It's complicated. It's really complicated.